today's video, I'm showcasing my top five meta assault rifle loadouts in Warzone 2 Season 5. Going from loadout 5 all the way up to 1. Basically, just telling you guys exactly what you should be running in the current meta. But real quick, I want to give a massive shout out to my Nodi gang. Let's hop directly into the class setups. Starting off with the honorable mention, we do have the TAC V battle rifle, which this would be a lot higher on the list. But since it's not technically an assault rifle, I didn't want to include it in the top five. So like I said, I got at that honorable mention. But starting off with the muzzle, we have the Sack and Tread 40 muzzle. Giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control making it so the tag v is a whole lot more controllable for the tuning on the muzzle i did plus 0.80 for that recoil stabilization and i did plus 0.19 for that recoil control then we have the 18 inch precision six barrel giving you guys that damage range hit fire accuracy and bolt velocity helping out the tag v even more making it hit harder and getting you closer to the hit scan for the tuning on the barrel i did plus 0.40 for that recoil steadiness and i completely maxed it out for that damage range then mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle is the f tac ripper 56 for our under barrel giving you guys that aiming auto stability hit fire accuracy and recoil stabilization again making it to where the tag v is extremely controllable at any different range for the tuning on the under barrel i did plus 0.80 for that recoil stabilization and plus 0.40 for that aiming auto stability then we're tossing on the 762 high velocity ammunition giving you guys that bolt velocity mixing in absolutely perfect with the barrel getting you guys even closer to hit scan then of course for the tuning we're completely maxing out for that damage range and we're completely maxing out for that bolt velocity and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 50 round drum mag increase that mag capacity making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill but overall that's my full build for the tag v battle rifle in warzone 2 season 5 like i was saying before this is the honorable mention for the list but if it was an actual assault rifle it would probably be in my number one spot because right now in warzone 2 this is absolutely the meta so if you guys haven't already go through give the full build a try tell them the highest school game you guys get with it but like i said that's the honorable mention let's hop directly into loading number five loading number five is the tempest razorback assault rifle which not too long ago did catch a buff making it a whole lot better but this build especially is going to have zero recoil and it's incredibly easy to use but hopping into the first attachment with the barrel we have the 18 inch tac 2l giving you guys everything you need with that damage range hit fire accuracy bolt velocity and movement speed like i said helping out the tempest razorback in every possible way for the tuning on the barrel i did plus 0.15 for that recoil steadiness and plus 0.40 for that damage range then we're tossing on the cronin op44 muzzle giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control making it to where the tempest razorback is a whole lot more controllable for the tuning on the muzzle i did plus 0.44 for that recoil stabilization and plus 0.35 for that recoil control for the under barrel we're tossing on the dm proto grip giving you guys that aiming auto stability horizontal recoil control and recoil stabilization mixing in absolutely perfect with the barrel and the muzzle making it to where the tempest razorback just does not move whatsoever for the tuning on the under barrel i did plus 0.39 for that recoil stabilization and plus 0.14 for that aiming auto stability then just like i always tell you guys the optics are 100 personal preference and for me with the tempest razorback the cronin mini pro feels the absolute best because i like to use it as that close medium range fights getting super aggro with it but if you guys want to you could toss anything you want to on for the tuning on the optic i did negative 2.23 for that ads speed and for the bottom bar i left it completely even at zero zero and of course for the last and final attachment we have the 60 round mag increasing that mag capacity making it to where you can beam an entire four stack if you really need to but overall that's my full build for the tempest razorback assault rifle in warzone 2 season 5 like i was saying before this did catch a buff not too long ago i'm not really too sure what update it did but it's super good right now and if you guys haven't tried it you absolutely need to but like i said that is my loaded number five on the list so let's hop directly into loaded number four loaded number four is an assault rifle that in my opinion is super underrated right now we have the cast off 762 especially with this build it's super good it doesn't have a ton of recoil and it hits super hard but just like the tag v starting off with the muzzle we have the sack and tread 40 giving you guys that vertical and horizontal recoil control making it to where the cast off 762 isn't bouncing all over the place for the tuning on the muzzle i did plus 0.80 for that recoil stabilization and plus 0.15 for that recoil control then we're tossing on the kaz 10 584 millimeter barrel giving you guys that damage range bolt velocity hip fire accuracy and recoil control again making it to where the cast off 762 is hitting harder you're getting closer to hit scan and you're an absolute beam for the tuning on the barrel i did plus 0.35 for that recoil steadiness and i completely max it out for that damage range then like i was saying with the tempest razorback the optics are 100 personal preference but the same thing for this one i like the chrono mini pro because i'm using it super aggressively for the tuning on the optic i completely maxed it out for that ads speed and for the bottom bar i left it completely even at zero zero then mixing in absolutely perfect with the barrel is the 762 high velocity ammunition giving you guys that bolt velocity getting you even closer to hit scan for the tuning on the ammunition i completely maxed it out for that damage range and i completely maxed it out for that bolt velocity and of course for the last and final attachment we're tossing the 40 round mag increase that mag capacity making it to where you don't have to reload after every single 
single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the Cast Out 762. I'm telling you guys, this thing is super slept on right now. And if you guys haven't tried it, you absolutely need to. So like I said, go through, give the entire build a try time the highest school game you guys get with it. That's my loading number four. Top directly into loading number three. Loading number three is another assault rifle that is just always good. The M4 is like the old reliable of Warzone. It did catch a minor nerf recently, which isn't too noticeable. It's still super disgusting. But hopping directly into the muzzle, we have the Harbinger D20 suppressor, giving you guys everything you need with that sound suppression, bolt velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. For the tuning on the suppressor, I completely maxed it out for that recoil smoothness. I did plus 0.35 for that bolt velocity. Then we're tossed on the high tower 20 inch barrel, giving you guys everything you need again with that recoil control, damage range, bolt velocity, and hit fire accuracy, making it to where the M4 is hitting harder. You're getting closer to hit scan and you're an absolute laser beam. For the tuning on the barrel, I did plus 0.50 for that recoil steadiness and plus 0.40 for that damage range. Speaking of being an absolute beam, we have the FTAC Ripper 56 for the under barrel, giving you guys that aiming auto stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Again, making it to where the M4 is not bouncing all over the place. For the tuning on the under barrel, I did plus 0.52 for that recoil stabilization. And for the bottom bar, I left it completely even at 0, 0. Then, like I've said over and over, the optics are 100% personal preference. You can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with. But for me, on the M4, I love running the SZ Recharge DX. For the tuning on the optic, I completely maxed it out for the ADS speed. And for the bottom bar, I left it completely even at 0, 0. And of course, for the last and final attachment, I have the 60 round mag, increasing that mag capacity, making it so you can beam an entire four stack if you really need to. But if you do feel too slow, you can downscale it from the 60 down to the 45. But overall, that's my full build for the M4 Assault Rifle in Warzone 2 Season 5. I'm telling you guys, this thing is still absolutely disgusting, even with the minor nerf it caught recently. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full build a try time the highest go game you guys get with it. But like I said, that is loading number three on the list. Stop directly into loading number two. Loadout number two, we have the TAC-56 Assault Rifle, which right now feels absolutely incredible. It has zero recoil. It does pretty good damage, and it's just super easy to use. But just like the M4 for our muzzle, we have the Harbinger D20 Suppressor, giving you guys that sound suppression, bolt velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness, helping out the TAC-56 in every possible way. For the tuning on the muzzle, I did plus 0.77 for that recoil smoothness, and I did plus 1.0 for that bolt velocity. Then we're tossed on the 17.5-inch Tundra Pro Barrel, giving you guys that damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bolt velocity, making it to where the TAC-56 is hitting harder, and you're getting closer to hit scan. For the tuning on the barrel, I did plus 0.15 for that recoil steadiness, and I completely maxed it out for that damage range. Then, of course, for the under barrel, we're tossing the FTAC Ripper 56, mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle and the barrel, making it to where the TAC-56 is even more of a beam. For the tuning on the under barrel, I did plus 0.21 for that recoil stabilization, and for the bottom bar, I left it completely even at 0, 0. Then, of course, for the optic, I'm tossing the SC Recharge DX, but like I've said over and over, this is 100% personal preference. For the tuning on the optic, I did negative 1.35 for the ADS speed, and for the bottom bar, I left it completely even at 0, 0. Then, of course, for the last and final attachment, I tossed in a 60 round mag, making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the TAC 56 Assault Rifle in Warzone 2 Season 5. I'm telling you guys, this is still one of the best guns in the entire game, and right now, it just feels incredible. So, if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full build a try, tell them the highest kill game you guys get with it. Without further ado, let's hop directly into the best loadout on the list. Loading number one. Loading number one and the best loadout on the list is the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle, which, if you guys don't know, was a really long lasting meta in Warzone 2. It fell off for a little while, but it's super good again. So hopping directly into the build for the muzzle with the Harbinger D20 Suppressor, giving you guys absolutely everything you need to make the ISO Hemlock better. For the tuning on the muzzle, I completely maxed it out for the recoil smoothness, and I completely maxed it out for that bolt velocity. Then we're tossing on the Fielder T50 Barrel, giving you guys that damage range, bolt velocity, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy, mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle. Again, making it to where the ISO Hemlock is better in every possible way. For the tuning on the barrel, I did plus 0.19 for that recoil steadiness and plus 0.15 for that damage range. Then like I've said over and over, the optics are 100% personal preference. You can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with, but for me on the ISO Hemlock, the AMOD V4 just feels the absolute best. For the tuning on the optic, I did negative 3.0 for that ADS speed and for the bottom bar, I have to completely even at 0, 0. Then we're tossed on the 5.56 high velocity ammunition, mixing in absolutely perfect with the muzzle and the barrel, giving you guys even more bolt velocity, getting you guys even closer to hit skin. For the tuning on the ammunition, I did plus 0.70 for that damage range, and then I completely maxed it out for that bolt velocity. And of course, for the last and final attachment, I'm tossing the 45 round mag, which is actually the biggest mag option on the ISO Hemlock, making it to where you don't have to reload after every single kill. But overall, that's my full build for the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle in Warzone 2 Season 5. Like I said, this is my loading number one, and in my opinion, the best AR in the game right now. 
obviously if the tac v was an ar i think that would be number one but since it's not this is the best actual assault rifle so make sure you guys go through and give the entire build a try tell me the highest skill game you guys get with it but like i said that's the list so overall those are my top five assault rifle loadouts in the current meta in warzone 2 season 5 so make sure you guys go through and give every single one of them a try then go down in the comments below and let me know if it helps you guys out at all and if it does make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button that's it for the video